I want to show you a, a quick custom rule. Um, when you're creating um, detection rules in Elastic, um, basically these de detection rules are rules that run periodically and search for events of matching learning job anomalies and whenever they meet the criteria for the rule. There's a couple of different types. There's a custom query, which we'll be doing, um, with a custom query based rule, which searches for the defined indices and creates a alert when a document matches that rule's query. Then there is also learning, machine learning queries, which creates an alert when a machine learning job discovers an anomaly based on a defined threshold for the machine learning. Then next, there are threshold rules, which um, searches for defined indices and creates a detection alert when the number of times the specific field value meets the threshold during a single execution. When multiple values meet the threshold and what are generated for each value. So if a field for source IP and its value is 10, an alert is generated for every source IP address that appear in at least 10 of those search results. The next kind is event correlation, which searches for defined indices and create alerts when results match a event query language query. Then there's indicator match, which creates an alert when an elastic um, security index field matches fields values defined in a specific indicator in the pattern. For example, when you create a threat index for IP addresses and use this index to create an alert whenever event destination IP equals a value in the index. Threat index field mapping should, uh, will need to be compliant with ECS. When you're creating a modifying rules, you can add exceptions that will um, prevent a rule from generating an alert when its criteria are met. This is useful for reducing noise, such as preventing alerts from trusted processes and internal IP addresses. Um, rule exception value list, um, I'll be going over later, um, but which can help with this. You can add exceptions to custom queries, event correlation, and indicator match rule types. But for this example, I'm going to be just doing a uh, custom query. And for the custom query that I'm going to create, this one's going to basically um, going to detect network um, login and login attempts with built-in accounts. So if it detects a guest or admin, and this is and this is for Windows too. So. Um, So down here at the custom query, it's going to be in by starting with for the first part of it. So it's going to be uh, one. It's going to be looking for the long, the, the long type first portion. Um, which was, it's going to look for security, and then the next part is for the and. Now it's going to look for specific event ID. So this can be going to look for the IDs four six two four. Four, four, six, two, five. New and Event data volume type
Then data target user said keyword at asterisk hundred asterisk. Here, name, Another station, name. And now for this, the index pattern is going to be probably log and log beat. I'm just going to do all just for this example. Okay, from here, um, because of what it's doing, you can um, choose the type of template that will basically be assigned to it when this rule is detected. Um, and by default, uh, this one I don't have any right now, um, but that's fine. So from here, I'm gonna continue on. And you get to define what you what it's going to be considered as. I'm going to name this network login via built in via audit because that's what it's doing when it finds it. Um, Go into the description, detects network type 3, logins, and login times with built in default counts, guest, admin. And I'm going to rate this medium. It's just my opinion. Um, then for tags, I'm going to put Windows um, Defense Evasion Persistence Privileged Escalation initial access.
This is so when you search, when you have multiple, like tons of rules, you'll be able to um, sort easier. I'm going to go to um, Offense References. I came across this on Microsoft site, so I'm going to put the URL in. I don't have um, currently any examples of false positives. I forgot, I'm going to put the number for the monitor for this one. It's going to be T078. That's for another tag. So that I'll find here, but uh, it'll be defensive agent. T one zero seven eight ballot count, and here you can create a um, investigation for this type of rule. So when the rule pops up, um, the soccer panelists will be able to read that investigation guide to see what's the best way, best place to start to investigate for that rule to make sure that it's a false positive or true positive. But I don't really have an investigation guide for this. So right now I can then can you put your name in uh, I don't have pro ride um for this one it's not I'm not gonna touch any of that and uh, I'm gonna continue now for this individual you can have this um for this, I'm going to have run every 10 minutes. Um, and I'll just do the like that. Um, we're not going to do any perform actions, which we can do later. But from some examples of actions, you can have a webhook that will automatically connect something that will do some type of action in the environment. You can create a ticket. We're not going to do that right now. But for this, I'm just going to create an activate rule. So now here's the rule. So when you click on it, it will show you that new rule that you created. Um, it will give you all the information that you added in there. And then any of the time that the picture will pop up, it will arise here. And then, of course, there's exceptions where you can add exception. We're not going to add anything right now, but it's going to show you. And you can use any of the fields that may be needed to um, add to exception. And that's the, um, this uh, concludes this video. I will export this uh, rule in a second. I'm going to export it and I'm going to put it on um, GitHub and then I'll link it into the, the description of the video.